Welcome to day 15 and thanks Priya for uh, the correcting for the correcting comment that's uh, a small correction from yesterday's statement it is fools venture where angels fear to trod by alexander pope from an essay on criticism in fact i said something like that meaning the same but this is the exact words used by alexander pope So today's verse goes like this Nabhe vyapile sarva srushti sahe Raghu nayaka upama te na sahe Rujhe vina jyoto chito ha svabhave Tatha vyapako vyarta kausem yanave So here it's a wonderful metaphor that the author has used with sky and ragunayaka Ragunayaka means Sri Ramachandra ji So the gist is like this sky has pervaded the entire world but its smile of ragu is intact he is naturally non dual in fact it's futile to call him even all pervasive so now if you have to look at the word by word meaning of it it goes like this nabhe in the sky vyapile filled sarva all srushti sha srushti sa here created universe ahe e sins the whole universe what we see the heavenly objects are all filled in the sky and he says raghunayaka lord sri ram upama smile te that na not sahe bear so he says now he compares to this smile that sri ramachandra ji has and he continues druje bina without a second jo u to chi to he himself ha this swabhave naturally tata to him vyapako parvesu vyartha vain kaso how mahave si so here it's so nice he says the space is all pervading where it covers the four of the universe it is but in front of the smile of shri ram that is nothing that is inadequate that says the smile itself of shri ram chandra is so vast so expansive and it continues to say it's sri ramachandra ji alone who stands not without a second there's no second to him so now he says to say that the space is all pervasive how logical it is we have to think so if you have to go a bit deeper it says from if you can recollect the verse from the purusha suktam the other day which we have seen the first four lines it says om sahasra shirsha purushah sahasraksh sahasra pat sabhumim vishvato vrutva ಅತ್ಯತಿಷ್ಟಸಾಂಗುಲಂ ಪುರುಷ ಯೇ ವೇದಗಂ ಸರ್ವೋತ ಯಚ್ಚವ್ಯಂ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು 
ఉంటుంది ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ పురుషూక్తం ఇట్స్ ఏస్ సహస్ర శిరుస పురుష ఇస్ ఏస్ సహస్ర హియర్ ఇస్ ఫిగరేటు ఇట్స్ ఏస్ ఆల్ ది హెడ్స్ దట్ యు సీ ఆర్ ఆల్ హెస్ ఆల్ యు కెన్ సే హీ హ్యాస్ సో మెనీ హెడ్స్ సహస్ర హెడ్స్ హీ హ్యాస్ సహస్రాక్ష సహస్ర పాతి సేస్ his eyes his limbs they're all millions and millions we buy because all the creatures are him so everything is his and sabhumim vishvato urutva having bhumim here he is not speaking about understand it is not about the bhumi the earth where we reside the whole cosmos having covered everything and goes beyond and expands the shangalam atra tishtatta shangalam he expands and stands there magnificently gigantic and huge in him we find everything even in bhagavad gita we have seen in vishrupa darshanam where we have seen everybody going in and coming out and all but we will have a revision class some other time maybe after uh, september if if all of you agree to bhagavad gita chapter so now it says the question is is space all pervasive or the truth absolute or shri ramachandra ji or whatever we call it as is that all pervasive is the question next the question is can the space transpire shri ram is the question all that you are supposed to think is is a space in ram or ram in space therefore he says this metaphor is inadequate space pervades the whole universe and shri ram pervades all these and goes beyond we have seen in purusha shukta purusha means shri ram and here imagine please make it very very clear whenever i say purusha whenever it is said shri ram whenever it is said that the truth or the absolute or brahman each one of you are supposed to close your eyes and think that you are that or the speaker or the author is speaking about you therefore in upadesha vakyam we say tattvam asi you are that then you have to identify what is this i what is that that what is the differences and if i remove the differences what remains that i and that that are all the same don't say sir you are speaking like that swami ji nitanand ji no 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 please this individual small i should get merged with the super cosmic i the capital one So if you leave this Upadis, Panchakoshas and just be or see, then you become that absolute truth. It's very difficult to explain also. <coughs> Cognizing, understanding is one thing and putting it into words is another thing. Something like the deaf or uh, it's something like a dumb expressing the sweetness of the sweet we have seen that in taitreya upanishad taitreya ka i don't think that we have taken here in a different session ha hu a hu avannam 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 amannadu amannadu it was like this If you look at the first three words, ah, ah, ah. So here, similarly, a dumb, if you ask him to express, he jumps, he makes all sorts of sounds. He's enjoying that sweet, but he's unable to express in the way you want it to hear. 
so with this we'll conclude stay in that cosmic ram hood and forget the limited small i and grow to that cosmic capital i you know today and tomorrow are lockdowns here in karnataka in most of the places tomorrow is a lockdown two days just get filled in this cosmic vision with this i conclude thanks for being with me kindly like and share